Everyone knows Nicole Richie's dad is the legendary pop singer Lionel Richie, but a lot of folks may not realize she was adopted. While Richie has since found success as a TV personality, fashion designer, and actress, for years she understandably felt very heartbroken because of the fact that her birth parents had left her. Naturally, Richie, for quite a while, wanted nothing to do with her biological parents. In this video, we're going to discuss what Nicole Richie has publicly said about her birth parents, her relationship with her father Lionel, and how her upbringing might have played a role in some of her later struggles with drugs and the law. Facts First presents Lionel Richie's adopted daughter has strong words for her parents. Nicole Richie's Early Life Nicole Camille Escovedo was born on the 21st of September 1981 in Berkeley, California, to parents Peter Michael Escovedo and Karen Moss. Both of her biological parents worked in the music industry and ran in essentially the same circles as Lionel Richie. Peter Escovedo is the brother of musician Sheila E. and the nephew of Latin guitarist Alejandro Escovedo. At the time, he was working as a percussionist and musical director. He was also a member of Lionel's band, and they briefly toured together. While Peter was touring with Lionel, he met Moss, who was working as a backstage assistant for Sheila E. Not long after they met, Nicole was born. By the time Nicole was two, her parents were having significant financial and relationship issues. Reportedly, Lionel first saw Nicole at a Prince concert, where she was on stage playing the tambourine. Lionel went backstage, and since he knew Nicole's mother and father and realized they were having major problems, he offered to take Nicole in at his house until the tour was over so they could sort out their issues. Years later, in a joint interview with the Huffington Post, Lionel told Nicole that when he took her in, the situation with her parents was obviously not getting any better. In fact, at the time, her family was completely falling apart. Knowing full well they were incapable of adequately caring for Nicole due to financial reasons, Escovedo and Moss decided to take Lionel up on his generous offer. They agreed to let her move in with Richie and his wife at the time, Brenda Harvey. When Nicole went to live with Richie, she was just three years old. After living with Lionel and his wife for a few years, it became clear that her biological parents were unable to provide for her. In a later interview, Richie was quoted as saying that it took him just about a year to fall in love with Nicole. Lionel even referred to her endearingly as his little button. As time went on and it became evident that he was her dad, he realized he would need to officially adopt her. Knowing just how amazing little Nicole was, he also wanted to make everyone in her family regret they hadn't adopted her. Up until that point, Lionel and Brenda Harvey were considered Nicole's legal guardians, but they made the adoption official when she was nine. Ever since, she's been Nicole Richie. This video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. Gone are the days of lugging around a messy, bulky wallet. The Ridge Wallet has room for everything I need, holding up to 12 cards, plus room for cash, all while keeping a sleek and minimal appearance. We love the black Damascus design, but there are over 30 different colors and styles to choose from. I also traded in a clunky keychain for the Ridge key case, which holds up to six keys to keep me organized. Get the best offer by visiting our link at ridge.com slash faxverse, where you can save up to 40% through December 22nd. All you have to do to get this deal is click the link below or visit ridge.com slash faxverse. Nicole knows that Lionel had her best interests in mind. When asked about being adopted, Nicole told reporters several years ago that since her birth parents were friends with Lionel, they trusted that he would be able to better provide for her than they could. Although Lionel and Brenda eventually divorced in 1993 and Lionel ended up getting remarried, Nicole remains close with both of her adopted parents. That being said, she's never had a close relationship with her birth parents. Growing up without her biological parents wasn't easy. In the beginning, it was hard for Lionel to earn Nicole's trust, but he began to make inroads with her when he vowed he would never abandon her. Even though the singer was at the peak of his solo musical career, Lionel was determined to create a stable life for little Nicole. She even inspired him to pen his hit song, Ballerina Girl. Lionel knew that Nicole had abandonment issues. She had been passed around to just about every relative in her family before she came to live with him. But he never once forgot about the promise he made to her. Naturally, Nicole first doubted Lionel, but after witnessing time and time again that her adopted father always came back home to her, sometimes even after weeks or months of being on the road, she began to let her guard down and open up to him. Karen Moss meant well. 
In her 2014 memoir, singer Sheila E. touched on Nicole's adoption from her birth mother, Karen Moss's perspective. According to her, as a single working mother who had just gone through a messy breakup, Karen was extremely grateful for the opportunity that Lionel had provided. She wanted the best for her daughter, and even though she was quite torn about letting her go, she knew that if Nicole kept living with Richie, she would be able to earn enough for their future without needing to disrupt Nicole's life. Karen Moss and Nicole weren't necessarily on bad terms during the adoption process, and Moss has continued to be in her daughter's life, at least in some capacity since then. She was there for Nicole in 2003 when she was arrested for heroin possession. Talking about her struggles with drug abuse, Nicole told Diane Sawyer in 2007 that she started experimenting with dangerous drugs because she was bored. At that point, the Simple Life reality TV star felt like she had already seen and experienced everything and just wanted more. After she received treatment for substance abuse, she met her future husband, Joel Madden, the lead singer of the rock band Good Charlotte. The two have since had two children together. Nicole and Joel's first child, Harlow, was born in January 2008. Not long after their daughter was born, Nicole gave birth to a son, Sparrow, in September 2009. Just a few months later, the couple announced their engagement in February of 2010. They got married later that year. After becoming a mother, Nicole realized she had to take care of herself and not return to reckless behavior, not only for her sake, but also for her children. Since becoming a mother, Nicole has steered clear of drugs and has turned her life around. So even though she's very publicly struggled with substance abuse and eating disorders in the past, Nicole is now happy, healthy, and determined to focus on her family. Becoming a mom changed everything. After getting pregnant for the first time, Nicole took it up upon herself to reconnect with her birth mother, Karen. She's also become closer with her adoptive father, Lionel. While she was never close to her birth parents, especially her biological father, Nicole realized after becoming a mother that she no longer wanted to keep resenting them. She discovered she wanted to somehow incorporate her birth parents back into her life if at all possible. Not only did getting pregnant help Nicole realize she wanted to rekindle her relationship with her birth parents, but the experience also helped her develop her bond with her mother-in-law. Something about becoming a mother and bringing new life into the world made Nicole discover the value in reaching out to the previous generation, her biological parents included. A couple of decades ago, no one would have suspected that Nicole Ritchie would turn out to be a beacon of hope and stability, but that's precisely where her life has taken her. She has found stability and provided her children with a loving, welcoming environment where they never doubt that they're wanted. Often people perpetuate cycles of toxicity, but for Nicole Ritchie, she's learned from the past, moved on from the heartache she experienced as a child, and has done everything in her power to make sure her family doesn't resemble the broken one she came from. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Nicole Ritchie was adopted by Lionel Ritchie and that her birth parents gave her up when she was three? Let us know in the comments section below.